from ecovegangal.com and welcome back to the Expo West preview series in which I'm doing nine videos featuring the top products I'm most looking forward to seeing at this massive trade show coming up the first week of March in Anaheim, California. As I mentioned in the other videos, this event is not open to the public, but I don't want you to feel left out, so that's why I created this series. You'll get to follow me, my journey as I research all these products there, and then I'm going to take you along with me to Expo and summarize it afterwards so you get the full experience. Today I'm going to be talking about food bars. I love food bars. I think they can be great snacks. Sometimes they can be great meal replacers or just like in, like tied over in between meal uh, options. And then th there's also nice as desserts every now and then too. But I bet you can relate to the fact that it can be really challenging to find the right food bar. First of all, there are so many options. When you go to the store, there's just rows and rows and rows of food bars. How do you pick? You could spend forever turning each of them over and examining the ingredients. And then you never know how they're gonna taste either, right? Or sometimes they taste really good and then you see the ingredient list and you're like, ugh. I don't know about that. So today's video is all about some brands I've already tried, plus some brands and products that I'm looking forward to trying for the first time at the show. What I look for in a food bar is number one, organic and or non-GMO project verified. I'm gluten free, so that's important to me too, as is soy free or low in soy, and low or no refined sugars. I really love it when brands use uh, natural sweeteners or get creative with things like dates and dried fruits. There are a number of bars that I've loved for a while now. Number one is Lara Bar. I really appreciate these bars because they have a very short ingredient list. They're easy to find. You can find them almost anywhere and they're quite affordable. They're usually about a dollar each. Then there's Square Bars, which is on the pricier side between three to four dollars super tasty when I'm in the mood for a chocolate snack that's usually my go-to and they just came out with some new flavors. I also really appreciate 22 Days Nutrition bars, Bearded Brothers which is a really small great brand with compostable packaging. Uh, speaking of which, Thunderbird makes compostable wrappers for their bars too. And then there's uh, Katoya I believe you pronounce it. They have great ingredients. All right, so let's jump into what I'm looking forward to trying for the first time at the expo. Number one is Slow Food for Fast Lives. I love that name, but what they do, the concept behind their bars is even more exciting because they're all about savory. I've seen a little bit of movement around savory bars recently, but there is just not enough on the market yet, so this is really exciting. This brand features on great flavors that are inspired from cuisine around the world. Plus, they are made from whole vegetables, nuts and grains, and they're gluten-free, completely vegan, non-GMO, and low in sugar. They look super tasty and have nice looking packaging, so I can't wait to try those out. Next up is Roo Bar, which makes raw, organic, soy-free bars with no added sugar. And they use some incredible superfood ingredients. Their flavors look fantastic. They use things like goji, maca, mulberry, Baobab, and they have a super cute design. I cannot wait to try every single one of their flavors. Next, there's Health Warrior Chia Protein Bars. Health Warrior's Chia Bars have been around for a little while and they're just introducing these new protein bars. They're non-GMO, gluten-free, and soy-free. They claim to have half the sugar of most bars out there and they say that they're the only bar that uses chia as the main ingredient. These new protein bars have chia, quinoa and pea protein in them so lots of great sources and they have some nice flavors like chocolate coconut sea salt lemon goldenberry and peanut butter cacao and lastly I wanted to mention pro bar bites you're probably familiar with pro bar they've been around for a long time with their vegan line and I'm always excited when older brands introduce new products I love the packaging with these and the concept these are organic gluten-free and soy-free bars. They have some really delicious sounding flavors. They have chocolate cherry cashew, coconut almond, mixed berry, peanut butter chocolate chip, peanut butter crunch, and probably the most interesting to me is the superfood and greens flavor. Now the only downside to me is that they do use some cane sugar and some canola oil, but the good news is 
is that it's organic. So I think that this could be more of an occasional treat as a bar, maybe not as frequent. I would probably lean towards the others because of their more whole food ingredients. So those are the four bars that I'm really looking forward to. Plus, I can't wait to see the other brands I mentioned at the beginning. And of course I'll be on the hunt for more because as I mentioned, Expo West is just packed with bars. Now I want to hear from you. Which of the bars that I mentioned would you be most interested in trying? And what is your dream bar? What is a bar that you wish existed but doesn't yet? Or do you want to see more of? What kind of ingredients do you look for? Or nutri nutrient profiles? How much protein do you want in bars? Give me the scoop so I can keep an eye out for it on the Expo West show floor. There's over 2,500 vendors there. There's so much to see. And if you have any specific question for brands, like why do they use certain ingredients or about their packaging or what they're developing in the future, let me know so I can ask them one-on-one -on -one and get back to you on that. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to hear from you. If you're gonna be at Expo West, keep an eye out for me. I'll be wearing the Eco Vegan Gal shirt, plus carrying around the Eco Vegan Gal backpack, so I'll be pretty easy to find. And if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check out my ebook, The Insider's Guide to Natural Products Expo, which has all sorts of tips for attendees and exhibitors to make the most of it. It's also for people who don't know anything about Expo and are a little bit curious perhaps about going in the future. That's it for this video, but I will see you tomorrow with another preview of Expo West. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the other upcoming videos. I would love to see you on social media. All the links are right down below. Please keep in touch. Let me know your thoughts on products and Expo West and anything else you wanna chat about. And of course, there's lots of information at ecovegangal.com all about healthy, happy living. All right, see you next time, bye. This video is all about superfoods. There are superfoods galore at Expo West, so I'll be on the hunt for the latest and greatest so I can give you the scoop.